Hey Shooby Doodlers, this is just a short video showing you how to draw kind of collars and the cut of a suit jacket. The previous video was kind of how to put clothes on a body and, and it's very difficult to cover everything. If there are little details that you want to know about, do let me know and then I can make smaller videos which will kind of add up to make a little side kind of library. Okay, this is a kind of a little mini extra lesson on uh, collars because <laughs> I think that there are a detail on clothing that really get people confused um, so if you think of a person with a neck there so um, this is kind of the the mannequin triangle part part of the body the neck the collar the collar stands up around the neck so so you want to have kind of an ellipse imagine an ellipse going there and an ellipse going there and this is kind of a bit like a a, a vicar or a priest's collar uh, but that's not quite how we want it so we want it to split with a, a v like that and then that will come to there and that will come to there so if we draw it in ink I'll bring it down a little bit If we draw it in ink, then the the neck will kind of go into the collar and that will come around and behind it, if that makes sense. Now, if you're going to be drawing a more kind of comic collar, uh, we can put a tie in there as well if you want like that. If you're drawing a more comic kind of collar, then you're going to have a kind of a neck there. Um, this is exactly the same process, so this might help <laughs> you work it out a bit more. So you want to have the collar coming around from the back like that, and then that will kind of split down there to where the button is. Then you've got a very thin bit coming down around, and then it's going to go up and just fold around because this is folding down again on this side it's coming down and it goes up and just kind of folds around and then your comedy collar might look like that um, and there's the head I always give him a smile <laughs> and it might look something like that the shape of the collar is going to depend an awful lot on fashion. So sometimes the collars are quite wide. So sometimes these collars are kind of quite wide like that. Depends on the kind of period in fashion and all that kind of thing. Or you can go sort of more 1970s and have great long droopy collars and that will all really depend on on the fashion and everything else involved in your drawing a lady's collar kind of lies a bit more flat because it's not got a tie up inside it and you know a collar like this part of his job is actually sort of hiding the tie behind it so you might find a lady's collar will be more sort of flat like that um, or um, you might find she's just got a little bit of trim around it like that the other thing that um, gets people quite a lot is, is suit jackets. <laughs> so if we got the head there and the neck, so let's think about where this, this collar is going to go. Collar's going to be a bit like that. The suit jacket, the back of the jacket, the back of the lapel is as, usually just about as high as the back of the collar. So if you take this line of where the collar is and bring that down, 
then from the top of the collar just curve curve it down slightly and then that is basically going to be your your jacket like that which can then go down to the sleeves like that so if we draw in the face and the neck and the collar and let's put the tie in there so we know exactly where we are then draw a line down from the collar maybe just slightly to the side of it and then curve very gently there that will then come in V shape there and then the the suit lapel will then go like that and again come down here and you tend to have got a little bit you near know, the shoulder is stitched on there and you're going to get a little zigzag there and a little zigzag there let's have a stripy tie the jacket will tend to go in a little bit like that probably out a bit more and you maybe have a little zigzag on the inside of the sleeve there as well so that's a very quick little lesson practice 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 do lots and lots of these and they will get easier and easier every day that you do it it gets easier because you sleep on it overnight and you remember and you build on what you learned the day before get yourself some fashion books look carefully we actually work out what is going on you can see here that the back of this collar here is almost as high as the shirt collar and here is a totally different kind of collar for you to try and work out let's see what's going on here this is split up the middle and going around split up the middle and going around within there then you have this extra kind of thing going on so i'm going to go around like that and around like that this is actually going up by his ears almost and of course that line will want to follow around, around behind him uh, and then inside here you've got uh, an extra fold going up and then you've got another bit sort of coming down like that it's very complicated uh, we can add a double layer to that and that almost does it I think so we're going to have the face there. We'll have a zip there. This is going to go there and there. And then from here we've got this kind of double line going around there. We're going to have that bit going there and that bit coming down there. And then we're going to want to have that there and that there. That would be quite dark, and that would be quite dark, and then his shoulders will be there. Now his he's got his arm bent. He has his arm bent here, so we bring those little zigzags in there like that, zigzags up there. And I think if you put these kind of tape drawstrings in there, it actually then helps to make sense of quite exactly what it is that he's wearing. And then also I think you can put his little bit of throat there and then maybe he's got a t-shirt on underneath as well, which we can give in a different pattern. Which all helps to bring the drawing together. Now drawing collars and things, they are really complicated shapes. Look at your friends, look at people when you're on a bus, just sit and draw people, get hold of catalogues, look at them, analyze it, and just keep drawing and drawing and drawing and practice and practice and practice, and it will click and you will just be able to draw collars without thinking in the end, if you 
keep practicing.